it's Pat Hood and it's Makers Monday. Actually, I'm thinking of this as sort of Take Apart Monday um, because I have lots of little things um, gathered together from recent jewelry jars that need to get cleaned up, taken apart, sorted out kind of thing. So, nice needle nose pliers. These are probably my favorite ones. This is a bale that isn't wasn't very good, um, wasn't secure, and uh, was tarnished. So I won't throw it away. I'll keep it in case it has a you know a use. But this um, glass pendant is now free of the bale and can be used in many different ways in a piece of jewelry. And I actually have a collection of those glasses pieces. Um, here are some uh, glass. I think they feel like glass. Glass and tiger eye beads. I don't know why these ones are separated by knots. They might be more precious. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the old scissors and take these apart. I guess having um, having knots between some of them helped keep part of the strand together, but not all of it. So there's one black. Here's a small bunch of tiger eye. These are not knotted. Oh, they are knotted together. Yeah, those are are glass. That's actually metal, which is good, which is nice. I'm going to try to keep the sizes together as much as possible. And I don't have uh, a microphone, a microphone, a microscope. Yeah, I'm going to listen to this with a microscope with a microphone and see if it's stone or glass. I think um, I will take a look at it with the uh, with the jeweler's loop and see if I can see any difference. But I don't think there's anything that distinguishes them. Um, it's interesting that the so we've got six of those. Interesting that the tiger's eye beads are not all separated by knots. There we go. A little bit more. Don't need any of this thread hanging around. So we'll take that out. Sometimes it's hard to tell which end to free it from, depending where the knot is. There we go. Up. That one doesn't want to come out. Pliers don't want to pull it out either. Did I get it? No? I'm going to have to put something in there to pull it out with. And this one. I can get it out this other side. Nope. Okay, so I've got a couple that I couldn't... Uh, Get the knots out of, but that's not bad. These are nice little metal spacers. And a few more tiger eye. And then these are all 
um, one. Okay, let's see if we can do this so that I get them off. bit of a fish hook clasp, but I doubt that will have any future purpose, but you never know. You know, you find a broken one and need the other half. So, very quickly, we've reduced it to three piles of beads. And then I'll just bag them up. Well, actually, four piles of beads. And there we go. Nice bunch of tiger eye. There's a black one. If I wanted to be really smart about it, I would uh, measure the size of the beads and put a little note in the package. I would have to go get my micrometer for that. So, those look like maybe tens. Um, go get some smaller bags here for the uh... oh a hint if you can't get them to pull apart this way try just sort of doing that you sort of squish along the where the zip part of the bag is it tends to open without tearing these are fairly lightweight, not as lightweight as some of the ones I've purchased, but fairly lightweight and they can be tricky sometimes to get open. So there's some bags ready for reuse. Something like this, I'm not going to take it apart because it's nicely uh, organized the way it is. Let's see what else. I've got these I could take apart, but for now I'm going to leave them together. Um, what else can we... Uh, repurpose here today. Oh yes, I want to take these uh, stone drops off of these earrings. So usually um, usually you would use two um, hooks to get in there. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit use my round notes pliers which are used for making these head pins turn again to or shape and just open it up and then close it up again and there's one done and find the uh, opening on this one open it up grab it close it up again that way that won't hook won't fall out now I got two and I think they'll fit in one of these small bags. Let's see. One, two. Does they fit? Yeah, they're a matching pair. Oh, some more stone ready to save. These, hmm. These. I think I will save because they have a built-in um, ring there. This part will come off the back very easily. Um, I'm going to take apart these kind of earrings. Just open that up. And open that up. And this part pops right out. Do the same on the other side. Open that 
that out. Open that out. This pops out. There we go. This part can easily be cut off, but um, sometimes I find it very useful um, to leave it on because you can bend it flat against the back here. You can um, blend it up. And these just need a little bit of uh, refurbishing of the paint. We're going to do something with them. So another little... Uh, Actually, I won't bother putting them in a bag. They would go in a, a larger bag of pieces. Let's find a larger bag. Just sort of... I'll, um, and it... Those might come in useful. So we're going to put, there we go. That's just bits and pieces. I'll make a, uh, a bag for gold bits and pieces and a bag for silver. So we got the bag started for the silver. Now I got some gold ones here to uh, take apart. And I'm just going to, hmm, what am I going to do? I think I'm actually going to take them apart into three pieces. These are like, or these can be approached similarly to the last ones. Open the ring, slip that off, close the ring, open the ring on this side, slip that part off, close the ring, and I don't know if these are strong enough. Yeah, okay. So. I pulled <laughs> the earring bit off and this uh, is this plastic with a, a coating so I did damage that but um, lots of things you can do with it and there's uh, three holes at the top so lots of uh, uses for that and I think now that I see that that's plastic as well I think the nicest part of that is the um, is the pearl part. Where's the other earring like that? There it is. Okay. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Just uh, find the where the ring closes or. Oh opens, take that apart, put that back together. And getting you getting into the habit of opening and closing things so that they're back together, it keeps them from getting caught on stuff. It also keeps them in better shape. So let's see um, if, how badly this one becomes damaged when I put it off. Ah, but not as much, but still. So there's some Here's the bag of the gold pieces. What else have we got here to uh, take apart? Have some bits of earrings and things. Um, those earrings, these parts of earrings, I'm throwing away. They're So here's a bit of uh, rhinestone, nicey stuff. Um, I'm gonna put in a special bag, I think. This earring. I'm gonna take the back off. This might. Uh, come in handy in an assemblage. Um, I'm going to use my slightly larger ones here. Let's just flatten this out, flatten that out. Um, and this can go in with the silver bits. Um, this is gold. 
So I'm going to take this apart off the top here. You can see there is an opening there. It doesn't have any other way to attach it to other things, and this might break it. But let's try it carefully here. No, nope, there we go. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think I'd ever use this for anything. But the bottom piece is very usable in a future piece of jewelry. So this can go with the golds, and I'll put that in there as well because it's not going to harm anything. Um, this earring has got a huge amount of verdigris on it. So I'm going to not do anything with it. I might just throw it out. Here's a, p a black bead. Okay, here's um, a necklace to take apart. Neat. So twist like you're twisting a door handle. That comes off of there. This is on um, some kind of cord for some reason. To get in there like that. This one's a little harder to turn. There we go. Off the cord. And I'm going to close up the ring. This looks like it was uh, repurposed from a Whoops, well, I guess we'll close up this ring though. It's not essential. I will probably put a much nicer bail on this lovely piece of stone. That's very fine wire that it's on right now, but just so I don't lose that. So there's a couple pieces. I might put out, make a bag of stony bits, I'm not sure. And the rest of this chain that it's on, in which it is, it's just oh, some kind of cottony cord. Not very nice stuff either, so it's just a matter of going in and... Pretty beads. I don't know if those are plastic or metal, but these are nice faceted beads. So this is, uh, if you think going through the jewelry jar is time consuming, salvaging all the good bits and cleaning up and sorting, it's pretty time consuming as well. This, if you can... Not sure if you can see it. Let's see if it, what happens when I... Can you focus? Come on, com computer. There. Okay, so you can see that this is um, a stone. It's phallic fractured over there, but that stuff floating around in it um, is what would make, make it be called a piece of moss agate. I'm not sure if I want to trust this for the future there, because you can see there's quite a, a crack there, and it goes right around to the front. So I'm glad I took that off. I'm going to have to, uh, you know, there's another crack going that direction. But it's a, it's a real piece of stone. It's a real piece of agate, so... Oh, put it aside. Maybe I can find a place where it's uh, not going to get banged around and broken. And uh, just a few more beads to come off on each side here. One. Two. Three. Four, six, seven, 
eight. Maybe this will nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, there's more than I thought. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Oh, and some more. So there's the silvers, the glass, there's the little um, sort of a crystal from like a, a chandelier crystal, these glass, and then there's the little quart or agate. And there's the other piece. So I'm going to um, put these with my beads that I've separated. I'm going to put the different types of stones together or colors of stones together, even though that's how light. And then these clear and black pieces I'm going to put sort of in with this random mod podge of little colored bits that I have. This piece of... Um, of a rhinestone necklace that I have where I have the center. I'm just going to take the chain off and then I can put the rhinestones off to the side and the chain will be very useful if I can find There's the end. Okay. Grab the side twist. There we go. So now I have a bit of a silver chain. I can use for something. I have a little bit of gold chain. These will go in the rhinestone bag with the other pieces of rhinestones. And I think, I have, well, I have this pit of, uh, these will go in with my chains, which are where? Chains are where? There's some chains and bits here. Okay. Then I have this necklace, which I was going to cut off the um, leather, and I discovered I was going to cut it off, and when I went to pull on one side, it came out. So this is a nice um, closure that I can save, and then this bit of, I think it's faux leather. It's hard to tell, um, but I'll save that for the kids' jewelry that I work on, or when I work with kids on jewelry, because they like... Um, different kinds of strings and things. So there's a piece for the kids bag. Another closure to go in with the, the little bits of chains and things. I've got these big plastic beads. They were uh, a necklace on leather that was knotted many times and broken. So at this point I just have to pull them off the leather and uh, put the leather aside with the kids stuff and I'll put these three beads um, in a bag they're just they're 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 just plastic but they're made to look like amber um, they're not all the same size so <coughs> excuse me I can't really make a pair of earrings of them but certainly useful for something in the future I don't need to, I don't know if they're going to fit in that bag or not. So it's kind of big. Oh yeah, there we go. So nicely, org little organized bag of beads. And this is the last little thing I'm going to take apart. No, these are not bad earrings. They're nice, it's a nice pair of earrings, but I like the chains and I like the little dangle. So I'm just going to take the uh, take them off the ear wires here. And again, like the other things that I've taken apart tonight, the easiest way to do this is to find where the ear wire opens up and open it up a little bit more. Then close it up and with this side. Slip them off, close it up. 
So there's two ear wires and they can go in the little bits of earring bag. And here I have two chains. It's a, I think those are both, I thought one was wood, but I think that's, they're both plastic. But nice, um, that's a nice little dangle. Same with here. And so there's some little pieces that could go in the silver tone. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to take them apart even further. Let's see. Where is this one open? Okay, let's take up there. Hmm. Well, okay, can we go say anyway? Um leave the ring on there this can go in with the chains two more I'm going to leave that one on there. And this one, I noticed has an extra ring. That's interesting. I wonder why. Maybe that's just... There we go. That. So, let's save this extra ring for here. These would be fine on a little pair of ear wires just as themselves, but who knows what I'll end up doing with them. So some more chains in the chain bag. There we go. This is these are gonna go in the odds and ends bag for now. And these will go in the silvers. So here's all the silver bits I've been collecting. There's the uh a bag of gold bits that I've collected, including. And then I have to decide what to do with this rhinestone chain. I don't know if you can, there we go. You can see that the top stones are gray. There's, uh, it, there's one miss, one uh, uh, rectangular stone missing there. It's very worn on the back. Yeah, you can see. So, I think I'm just going to stick it in the rhinestone bag. If there's room, where's the rhinestone bag? There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it in there for now. Since I can't really decide if I'm taking it apart or putting it together. And there's lots of room in there. So... Another uh, little bunch of things repurposed and uh, ready to go away. I have leftover with one ring without a stone and some interesting, a copyright and some letters. That it's hard to tell. It looks like uh, copyright, like an S, 90, S something, 94, 90. Ah, who knows? It's a small ring. It 
Well, no, it's not that small. That's a seven and a half. It would be interesting to find a, a stone that can be put in there. So, there we go. Almost looks like a 1928 style uh, ring. So, I'll leave you with that for now. Hope you've uh, seen some tips about taking things apart and sort of what the, the process is after the um, jar is empty. And I hope soon we'll, you'll see some things repurposed or assembled from all these items. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye for now. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.